Peace, peace, family. Thank y'all for tuning in. Just wanted to give y'all an update on what was going on with Celsius. And um, they say that the lawyers claim that users gave up their legal rights to their crypto. Now, we already know. And if you don't know, if you're watching this for the first time, this is your first time hearing about centralized exchanges, you do not give them your crypto. You keep your crypto in your own wallet and a decentralized wallet with private keys that you control. Let's read the article. Celsius lawyers claim users gave up legal rights to their crypto. Lawyers for the bankrupt crypto lender, they're going bankrupt, they filed for bankruptcy. Lawyers for the bankrupt crypto lender reaffirm that users' funds essentially belong to the company, not the user, with potentially one major exception. Celsius's 1.7 million registered users across over 100 countries gave up title to the crypto they deposited into earn and borrow accounts, according to the firm's lawyers. At the first bankruptcy hearing for Celsius on Monday, lawyers from the Kirkring Law Firm, led by Pat Nash, detailed how retail users with earn and borrow accounts transferred the title of their coins to the firm as per its terms of service. As a result, Celsius is free to use, sell, pledge, or rehypothecate those coins as it wishes. Here are the key business segments retail. Let's, let's check this out. So the EARN program. Retail customers transfer coins to Celsius and earn rewards. Under the terms of use, TOUs, title to coins is transferred to Celsius, and Celsius is entitled to use, sell, pledge, and rehypothecate those coins. Since April the 15th, 2022, the earned product has been limited to U.S. accredited investors and foreign customers. Borrow program. Celsius lent USD or coins to borrow, borrowers who post coins as collateral. Bow, borrowers were able to choose from different loan products based upon LTV, which means loan to value ratios of posted collateral, means money up front, with applicable interest rates being higher for higher LTV loans. Title to coins is transferred to Celsius, and Celsius is entitled to use, sell, pledge, and rehypothecate those coins. Custody program, custodial services for customer, including U.S. non-accredited investors. That means retail investors. That means people who don't have a whole lot of money. They just need it somewhere for you to place your coins. Oh, it's real easy. You could just come over here, give us your coins. That was wrong. Began in April, 2022, title remains with customer and Celsius cannot use coins without instructions from the customer. Now, that is the only thing that's really like saving this right now is the non-accredited investors they can't, they can't use those coins, but everybody else, everybody else is fair game. Let's finish reading. However, a legal question has arisen, <clears throat> excuse me, about whether custody account holders retain the title for their assets. Celsius TOS claims that the firm cannot use coins in custody accounts without user permission. Still, lawyers question whether this holds for crypto that the firm is currently in possession of. In, uh, in their overview of the case, they asked, are crypto assets in Celsius possession property of the estate? Keyword, keyword right there, estate. Find out what that means. Is the answer to the question different for crypto assets held under the custody versus the EARN program? Custody. The custody program was launched in April. 
for non-accredited United States investors. As some states across the U.S. issued cease and desist orders on Celsius Earn Program, Celsius paused rewards and withdrawals for users on June 13th and since have paused margin calls, liquidations, and issuing new loans. Attorney David Silver summed up Celsius' claim to users' funds in a Monday tweet. He wrote that users should stop thinking of it as your crypto because it technically all belongs to the firm. Wow. Just wow. Just wow. Users really gave up the rights to their crypto. And let me tell you guys something. If you do not have your private keys, you do not own your cryptocurrency. If it is on a centralized platform, get it off of there now. Anything that is centralized is going to ask for your email. They want to know who you are. They want you to identify yourself. They want you to take a picture of the front and back of your driver's license and put it onto their platform. They need to know who you are. No KYCs. Decentralized only. Let's continue. According to the tweet from Financial Times reporter Kadem Schubert, Nash proclaimed that Celsius users would be interested in riding out this crypto winner and let Celsius hold funds rather than sell. He added that this strategy would allow users the opportunity to realize their recovery through an appreciation in the crypto macro environment. Essentially, Celsius would like to wait for the market to turn around before selling to ensure it can stay afloat then pay off users with assets that have more value. The firm also claims that it can sell Bitcoin that it mines through a subsidiary mining operation to pay off debts. Celsius CEO Alex Manskin, I can't even say that word. I'm not even going to brutalize the name like that. A firm in a bankruptcy filing document that his company plans to generate about 15,000 Bitcoin through 2023. Wow. But David Silver was dubious about the claim. Silver appeared in a Twitter spaces after the hearing concluded about 107 mark in the conversation. He stated that Celsius claim of being a Bitcoin mining company is disingenuous. So that is your update for Celsius. Definitely keep your coins off of these centralized exchanges. If you don't know what a centralized exchange is, that is when they ask for your information. So make sure that you always use a decentralized platform like Uniswap, like um, what's another good one? Curve. Um, what's another good one? Polygon, Avalanche, those things. You want to make sure that you're decentralized as much as possible these centralized exchanges should only be used for onboarding purposes only with that being said i'm gonna go ahead get up out of here family appreciate y'all for tuning in peace